A very good evening to all. Today, we are going to enact a play named The Rise and Fall of Dr. Faustus, originally written by Christopher Marlowe. Here, Dr. Faustus, a renowned medical practitioner and the protagonist of our play, is a man who still has unfulfilled dreams. As the play starts and progresses, you will see how he is doomed when he decides to sell his soul to Satan to acquire more knowledge and power for 21 years. What happens on the last day of his 21 years? Does he achieve what he wants? Let's find out. It is inside the living room of Dr. Faustus. He is impatiently moving up and down. He seeks something that will make him more powerful. I have read all the books in this world. I have gained all the knowledge, but I feel incomplete. I yearn for more. I need knowledge, more knowledge, knowledge that will make me invincible. I need power, more power, power that brings me more wealth, more fame. Ah, I need to think of ways, ways, ways. Oh, my good friends, Val and Cornelius, deal with magic. Maybe they can give me the answer to my ordeals. Hans, call Val and Cornelius. Yes, Mr. Foster. Welcome, my friends. Bless me with your wise talks and advices. Please, please be seated. My dear friends, I have called you to discuss on a matter. I need knowledge, more knowledge, knowledge that give me fame, power, and everything I want. And you haven't dealing with magic, so please, so please help me out. Dear friends. Well, well, well. Of course, my friend, I have a book, Grimoire of Darkness, that has information on endless knowledge that contains all forms of magic. You need to try it, my friend. Oh, thank you. Nothing in this world comes free, my friend. You have to give him something in return for this valuable book. Oh, but I see. As a friend, Foster, I'm warning you not to go through this book. Otherwise, you will be full of regret. Oh, my friend, it doesn't matter. Hans, bring the coins. Yes, Mr. Foster. <laughs> this is, take this. Dr. Foster's friends, Wald and Cornelius, leave after taking the money. In return, they give him a deathly book, which contains black magic and magical things. Dr. Faustus is amazed. He starts going through the book. Oh, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> what is this? Something Mephistopheles? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Let me try it once. Let the night of Satan descends from hell to thy art. O oh, great Mephistopheles, come out. Come Mephistopheles out. comes out in a terrifying manner. Please, is my command. You are ugly. You are terrifying. You are ugly. No! Tell me the reason! Why call me? I want knowledge! I want power! Please come in fear form, please! Please come here, fear form! You want to see my fear form? Yes, please! Please! Mephistopheles comes out in his fear form. Oh, Mr. Faustus. Get up, please. Now I'm in fair form. You don't have to be frightened about me. 
Get him. So you see I'm here. I, the knight of great Lucifer. The king of hates and all evil spirits. You have to give me a very good reason why you call me here. Oh, Grand Mephistopheles, you see, I, I am a doctor. I have read all the books, I have gained all the knowledge, but my heart tells me that there is more. I want knowledge that can go beyond this living world. So please, please, my lord, please help me. Okay. <sighs> so now I see, you want more. You never ever content with what you have. Am I right, Mr. Frost? Okay then, my child. I know exactly what to give you. But... But it comes with a heavy brick price. Are you ready for it, Mr. Frost? A price, my lord? Yes, my child. A price. My dear father, the Almighty, always cherish it. Nurture it. That tiny thing inside you. That tiny thing inside you. Your soul! My soul! Yes, my child. Your soul! Surrender your soul to me! Then I'll give you whatever you want! Not isn't it too much, my child. Not isn't it too much. Should I do it? You want time to think? Then I can give you. I can grant you as well. Okay, give me time, my lord, time to tea. Remember, Faustus. Die! 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 <laughs> Mephistopheles disappears, leaving Faustus alone thinking. His conscience, in the form of angels, appear in his mind, warning him not to pay heed to the devils and repent for his actions. No, Faustus, no. Don't dwell on such evil thoughts. It's not worth it. The Almighty loves you dearly. Don't give in. Don't do it, Faustus. Don't do it. Do it! You will become powerful, indestructible. All you need to do is to give your soul. You have nothing to lose. You will have everything. Riches, power, fame, knowledge, respect. Do it! Do it! Do it! <laughs> Faustus succumbs to his bad conscience. He thinks about the riches and fame only, and not his good deeds. He enchants once again and calls upon Mephistopheles. Oh, grand Mephistopheles, come out! Mephistopheles, come out! Oh, Mr. Faustus, now, what you have decided? Uh, but, my lord, the thing is that... <laughs> Faustus, I'm telling you, everything. You'll get everything in this world, everything. Everything? Yes, my child, everything. Now I'm waiting for your answer. Okay, okay then. I'm ready to do it, my lord. I'm ready to do it. <laughs> Come, Faustus. There is an agreement in this table. Sign with your own blood. With my blood? Sign with your own blood, Faustus. Don't be fear. Sign a set! <laughs> 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 now listen, Faustus, I will grant you a period of 21 years, and in this year, you will live a life full of pleasure and luxuries of this world. I'll bring you such wonderful things that you cannot even dream of. Every man, every woman, and every child will sign your name with glory. The whole world the whole world will be below your feet in no second. But remember, remember, Faustus, at the end of 21 years, you have to surrender your soul to me. Your soul! Your soul! Ah! 
In order to show Dr. Faustus his power, Mephistopheles first took him to the Pope's place. And together, they started making fun of the Pope, teasing him and slapping him. The Pope was terrified because they were both invisible to him. Oh, well. <laughs> Mr. Pope, you won't welcome me. Huh? You won't welcome me or not? Who is this? Ah! <laughs> oh, Lord. The Almighty, he saved me. <laughs> Who is this? Now witness this form of me. <laughs> oh, Lord. Please help me. Please save me. <laughs> Your God will not come to help you. Your God will not come to help you, Mr. Bok. <laughs> <laughs> With time, Dr. Faustus became famous for his magic tricks and knowledge. His works were the talk of the town. Every country, every household knew about Dr. Faustus and were dazzled with his pursuit. At last, it reached the ear of the mighty emperor and his empress. They summoned him in court. They wanted to see him performing the tricks with their own eyes. Inside the king's court, the king and queen were seated. I have heard of your name. And I have heard of the powerful act that you have performed. But can you show me? Make me happy. Surprise me. For you, my king, I bring Alexander the Great. Everyone was astonished at the presence of Alexander the Great. The queen stood up from her seat. Oh my God! And the king threw 500 golden coins. Faustus's glory knew no bounds. His dream of getting the riches, fame, and knowledge were fulfilled. With each passing year, he started performing different devilish and erratic acts. I have performed greatest of great magic. I have done acts that no human can never ever dream of it. Let me try a few more. <laughs> Let me enjoy it. The act of the devil has blinded you, Faustus. Repent your actions before it's too late. The Almighty will forgive you. Repent, repent, repent. No, Faustus, no. You are great. You are God. You are supreme. You have everything, Faustus. Everything, everything, everything. Faustus's good conscience kept telling him to stop. But his evil side overpowered his good spirit. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me try a few more. Let me try it. Oh, the definition of beauty, the beauty of God. Helen of Troy, I summon you. Come out, come out, Helen of Troy, come out. He summoned Helen of Troy, the most beautiful girl in all the lands. As the days of his deal with the devil come to an end, Dr. Faustus has become more and more anxious. It is soon to be midnight. The final hours of Dr. Faustus have come. He stands alone, terrified. Oh, my days are ending. What will become of me after 21 years? Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, God, please. He thinks about the consequences of his actions now. They are nothing but pain, fear, and anxiety for others. As the clock strikes 12, <sighs> Dr. Faustus is surrounded no. by the devils. No, 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 please, please, no, no, please, no, please, please, please. Lucifer please let me go. himself let me go. came to take his soul from his body. Oh, 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 oh. No, please, please let me go, please let me go, leave me alone, please. 
Have you ever wondered no, please. your human grief please. would do please to you? Let me go. Please let the me worldwide go. famous Dr. Faustus! Oh God! I, oh God! The Grand help Lucifer! Me. Oh God! The please help old, me! Please forgive has come me! To rip please. your soul! Please! Please let me go! Please! Please uh, leave uh, me uh, alone! Uh, please uh, leave me alone! Do not blame me! Please! For your greedy mistakes. Please let me go. Human grits. Please. Ah, 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 please let me go. Ah, 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 please, please. I will now. Please. Rip your soul. Mephisto Phyllis. Please. Ah, no! No! Do it. Begin. No. Ah, 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 ah. Alas, my friends, that is how the rise and fall of Dr. Faustus took place. The message we all want to spread today is. Do not fall prey to the evil side of your mind and heart. There exists a saint and a devil within all of us. We decide through our own actions whether to increase our goodness or evilness. Do not be blinded by worldly riches, fame or glory. Try to find the true happiness within yourself. Thank you all for being patient and applauding our efforts today. Let me now introduce our cast. We begin with me, your narrator, Kerit Shruti Podar. Then we have the curtain pullers and prop managers, Kerit Radhishyam, Kerit Ramananda, and Kerit Rain. Then Kerit Great, Kerit David, Kerit Jengaigam Kame, Kerit Landin, Kerit Lokesh, Kerit Altaf, and Kerit Bablu as the devils. Wald and Cornelius, played by Kerit Sushil and Kerit Chauthoy. The good angel, played by Kerit Anthony. The evil angel, played by Kerit Gillette. Helen of Troy, played by Kedit Chanura, King, by Kedit Aniket Mishra, Queen, by Kedit Punia, Alexander the Great, by Kedit Sunny Kumar, The Pope, by Kedit Chanakya, and Hans, by Kedit Samson, Lucifer, by Kedit Nimbros, Mephistopheles in dark form, by Kedit Odysseus, and Mephistopheles in fair form, by Kedit Nicholas. You all humans are not content with what you have. And our main protagonist, Dr. Faustus by Kedit Biswaraj. <laughs> Don't let greed consume you. Let my fat be not yours. Thank you all.